I'm Daniel Jurgen, the author of The Prize, The Epic Quest for Oil, Money, and Power, which is a book that's a history of the oil industry at one level, but it's really a history of uh, part of the 19th century, certainly the 20th century, and this first decade of the 21st century. The interesting thing about oil is that it's always in the news, it's always on the front page, whether the price is high or low, it's so tied up with international politics, and it's also become very tied up with questions like climate change, uh, the future of our society, and certainly as the world economy changes and grows, there's such a, a focus on are we going to have the energy. So it seemed that so many things had come together that it was really time to revise the prize, to bring it up to date, uh, to deal with the issues that are on people's minds. And what was so striking to me is the continuing continuities of uh, the issues in the prize. The story is seamless uh, as it continues to unfold. One of the hottest questions right now is, are we going to run out of oil? Are we in a period of peak oil? And there are serious people who believe that peak oil, uh, end of oil, is, 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 is coming. We don't see that. We see uh, very substantial resources still to be developed around the world. But I'd, I'd have to say, though, that as we look at population growth and, uh, and economic growth, the challenge, whether you think we're running out of oil or you don't think we're running out of oil, whether you think that their supplies are there or not, it's going to be a major challenge to develop these resources and meet environmental targets on the scale of a growing global economy. Some of the estimates are that by within 25 or 30 years, the world may be consuming 40% more oil than it is today. And meeting those needs is one big challenge.